you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, how would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. In my uh, many years singing with the uh, Buffalo Philharmonic in the chorus, we have had the opportunity to sing many of the famous requiems. And uh, they uh, always come to mind on this Feast of All, All Souls Day in which we commemorate uh, our faithful departed to the Lord. We remember them, we pray for them, uh, they advocate for us, but uh, we know that we are united with them even though uh, much like yesterday with All Saints Day, today we cover everybody who has died believing in Christ, knowing that they too strive still for heaven. And we pray that whatever purification is necessary in their lives, we may be a part in praying for them, offering mass for them, remembering them, and uh, being thankful for the gift of their lives. But the, uh, the specter of death is something which every once in a while uh, will come upon us and perhaps cause us a bit of fright, but it really oughtn't if we are truly believers in all that God has promised. Uh, how beautifully we hear in, uh, from the uh, uh, Book of Wisdom that the souls of the just are in the hand of God. I'm, there's a wonderful movement uh, in, in the second movement of the um, Brahms Requiem, uh, very long, um, almost fugue a kind of thing, der gerechten Seelen sind in Gottes Hand und keine Qual rührt sie an. The souls of the just are in the hand of God and no torment shall touch them. And that kind of solace and consolation ought to always be a part of our uh, reflection on this day as we remember and pray for those who have gone before us. And the other, uh, reading the, uh, the uh, I'm going to tell you a mystery, that we will all, we will not all die, but we will all be changed in an instant, in the twinkling of an eye, in einem Augenblick in German, in the blink of an eye, uh, and we shall all be changed. In the uh, gospel, of course, we uh, are reminded of the way to salvation is to follow the Lord and to be uh, among those who, uh, in faith respond to the love of God that has shown himself in Jesus Christ and in every way try to imitate all of his virtues as best as we can. We know that the uh, consequence of sinfulness is death, but we know that the consequence of grace is life and grace overcomes sin always. And we pray in our lives that will always, as the, battles, as the battle goes on during our earthly existence that we might know of the ultimate victory that we will share because God indeed has given us a share in the victory. It's that victory that we celebrate in commemorating the faithful departed because we know that they, like us, are striving for heaven. And we pray that we, united with them in our prayers and in our um, remembrances in our joy and in our thanksgiving, that we will all one day be happily reunited in heaven with a joy that we can't even describe at this moment. May we be filled then with hope as we remember our beloved dead.